take place and I wonder if I got somebody in here who's so dedicated and so devoted that you realize where I'm going is more important than where I have been my god I wish I had 20 foot right there where I'm headed is more important than where I've been oh my god can I preach it like I feel it because there's a revelation for the church right there right there right there when the, when you make up your mind to start moving forward you'll get to a place you start talking about how things you I said it I said it I said it when God delivers you you understand that there is nothing in your past that would cause you to want to go back come on somebody when you are dedicated and devoted the last you want to do is go back and face some of those troubles, some of those trials, some of those distresses uh, that God has delivered you from. Uh -huh. My God, if he delivered you from some folk, why are you still trying to hang around them? Matter of fact, I'm about to help some of y'all. Some of y'all, when you leave church today, uh, ought to get that cell phone and go through your contact list uh, and start deleting some names and numbers uh, right up out of that contact list. Uh, because I believe, Kenya, out of sight means out of mind. Uh, if I don't see it, I don't think about it. Uh, you ought to jump on that Facebook page uh, and start unfriending and blocking some distractions. Uh, y'all ain't talking to me in here. Uh, catch your Instagram and your Twitter uh, and say, I'm done with this one I'm done dealing with that one and God help me say it even in the church of the almighty God there are some dressed up demons that you have to say I ain't got time to deal with this anymore am I doing alright yes, yes, because there's something else I got to show you in the text yeah when you're dedicated and you're devoted not only are you fixed in your direction, mm -hmm. but secondly, you will find yourself firm in your purpose. Uh -huh. All right. Remember what Ruth said now. Remember, what, remember now. Ruth said to Naomi, where you go, I go. You lodge, I lodge. Your people, your God, where you die, and where you are buried. Now see, I need to make sure y'all understand, beloved, that that's a whole lot easier said because you got to realize what Ruth was up against. Please understand this. Her past was against her. Uh -huh. Because all she knew was the heathen training she received as a child. Right. Orpah was against her. Uh -huh. You ever been there where you try to do something and hope some of the ones closest to you will help you and support you and hold you up? And you come to discover some of the ones closest to you are the first ones to run off and leave you hanging? Y'all ain't talking. Y'all ain't talking. Naomi was against her. Her own mother-in-law was against her. I'm going home, so you go home too. The future was against Ruth because here Ruth was about to go home with Naomi and was about to be considered an exile. Come on now. In Bethlehem. But in the heart of Ruth, we saw something. Because Ruth said, I'm not concerned about where I've been. I'm not concerned about where I'm going. What I see is not even my mother-in-law. Uh -huh. What I see is the God yeah. in my mother-in-law. Yeah. And can I stop right here and tell somebody right quick? Yeah. Sometimes you might be delivered if you stop trying to find out what's wrong with folks yeah. and start searching for the God in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ruth's decision was, I could go back, mm -hmm. but ain't nothing back there for me. I refuse to go back to where I came from. And if you're devoted and if you're dedicated, you don't let anything pull you back. 
Uh uh-uh. uh. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I don't know who I'm talking to, but there's about three of you in here. Today, you need to make up a decision. You need to make your mind up today that today is the last day I deal with this situation, I deal with this person, I deal with this circumstance. Because can I tell y'all something? Some things are better left in the hands of God. And the fastest way it can get in the hands of God is when you learn to take your hands off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruth's actions let me know that when you come in contact with the true and living God, you don't want to go back to where you used to be. For the Bible declares that if any man be in Christ, he is a... Oh, I got some Bible readers in here. Keep reading. All things passed away. Now, did y'all catch it? Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. See, in other words, when you truly sold out for God and you're truly to live for God and you have purpose to live for God, did y'all catch it? Paul lets me know that there is nothing to go back to. Old things have died. Some of us ought to be happy that some of that old stuff has died. Some, some of us ought to be glad. Some of us, you ever been around somebody where you see somebody and you don't see them? Because God has freed your spirit. Come on, somebody. See, the reality of it is, can I help somebody right there? Let me talk to some church folk. Because church folk will get to the place. They'll get upset with other folk in the church. And then they'll stop coming to church. They'll stop worshiping. They'll stop singing. They'll stop praising. Let me let you on a little secret. Your leaving one church, going to another, is not going to change a thing. Because the same devil that's in St. James will rise up at East End, North End, Elvin. Where are y'all looking at me like that? When you make it up in your mind. I ain't studying foolish folk. I, I'm going to praise the God uh, who woke me up this morning. And right now I wish I had somebody that'll take about 15 seconds uh, and just holler like you the only one in the room. Uh, because you know it ain't about folk. Uh, it's about the God uh, that you serve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I ain't studying you. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. you. Why well, I'm going to let you block my blessing when well, you don't have a heaven or hell to put me in? No. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. It ain't about you. Why am I going to let somebody kill my joy when you don't even create my joy? Come on, somebody. Why well, am I going to let somebody rob me of my peace uh, when my peace comes from the Prince of Peace? Uh, Why well, am I going to let somebody kill my praise uh, when I've discovered when the praise goes up? Oh, uh, the blessings come. I got to close. I got to close. I've been here long enough. Let me close. Let me close. I'm dedicated. I'm devoted. I'm going all the way with Jesus. Why am I going all the way with Jesus? Well, the first thing I told you was when you're dedicated and you're devoted, you're fixed in your direction. That's the first thing I told you. Second thing I told you is when you're dedicated and you're devoted, Ruth shows me that you are firm in your purpose. But then finally, let me close by telling you that when you're dedicated and devoted like Ruth, you will possess the faith in your resolve. Now, beloved, I started in the text, but let me finish in the text. Verse 18 says that when Naomi saw that Ruth was steadfastly minded, she left her alone. And I would close, Pastor Burston, by reminding us today that it wasn't just so much in what Ruth had to say. It was the foundation of which Ruth stood on. For whereas Ruth began by speaking to Naomi, I close by telling y'all Ruth wrapped it up by talking to Naomi about her own God. I'm right there in verse 17. The same words that Ruth gave to Naomi ought be the words that we profess to our Lord and our Savior. Ruth said in the B close of verse 17, the Lord do so to me and more also. Watch this phrase. If aught but death part thee and me. Now beloved, I close here today by telling you you can't be dedicated, mm -hmm. nor can you be devoted to God mm -hmm. 
until you have faced a matter of surrender. Yes. Have I got a witness here? Yes. When Ruth set out with Naomi, she was determined to go where Naomi went. Uh -huh. She was dedicated to do what Naomi did. God's people, Israel, would now become her people. And God himself would become her God. But I think I'll show you in the text when Ruth says to Naomi that the only thing that could stand in the way of that is going to be death. Orpah said, y'all can do what you want. I'm going home. Yeah, yeah. Ruth said, well, Orpah can go home. But I'm going to stay here with you. Uh -huh. And uh, there's only one thing that can stop me from staying with you. In other words, can I make it live here this morning? Because uh, Ruth said to Naomi, Miss Maxine, uh, the same words that Nettie spoke to Celia uh, in uh, the color purple. Uh, Mr. threw her off the land. Uh, Celia said, write me. Uh, but I heard Nettie say, uh, nothing but death uh, can keep me from it. Uh, and I close here by uh, asking a few folk here, uh, have you made up your mind uh, to be so dedicated uh, and devoted to God's will uh, that you can tell uh, a dying world uh, nothing but death uh, can keep me from it. Uh, is there anybody uh, so surrendered to God, uh, so sold out to God, uh, so determined to live for God uh, that you can say just like Nettie, uh, nothing but death uh, can keep me from it. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I wish I had a few dedicated folk uh, who know God has been good to you to reach out and grab a neighbor and tell that neighbor neighbor nothing but death can keep me from it he's been so good to me I got to serve him he's made a way for me I got to live for him he opens doors for me my God, I feel South Carolina in here. Nothing but death can keep me from it. That's what Ruth says. And I want to thank you, Ruth, for sharing your story. I'm so glad Ruth's life is found in the word of God. Because in the times that we live, with all that is happening around us, there need to be a few folk in the body of Christ that are saved like Ruth did huh, to Naomi huh, whether he goes huh, I'm gonna go huh, where he lodges huh, I'm gonna lodge huh, his people huh, shall be my people huh, his God huh, shall be my God huh, where he dies huh, I'm willing to die huh, and nothing but death huh, my God in here, nothing but death, nothing but death is going to keep me from it. I got to go, but I got to tell St. James, stay dedicated, stay devoted, live for the Lord, work for the King, and when death separates you, you'll be able to say, some glad morning. When this life is over, I'll fly, I'll fly, I'll fly, I'll fly. I'm dedicated, I'm devoted, I'm willing to serve him. I'm willing to live for him. 
I'm willing to walk with him because he'll walk with me. I'm willing to talk with him because he'll talk with me. I'm willing to praise him because he'll bless me. I'm willing to love him because he first loved me. Loved me so much that he sent his son and the son loved me so much he tiptoed through 42 generations. Walked this earth for 33 years. Healed the sick. Raised the dead. I'm willing to serve him. He gave sight to the blind. Turned water to wine. I'm willing to serve him. But here's the reason I'm determined to live for him. He took the cross of yours and mine. Hung it on his shoulder. Went to a hill called Calvary. I'm dedicated to him because they put nails in his hand. They put nails in his feet. Punched a hole in his side. Crown of thorns on his head. He died. Good God Almighty. He died till the sun refused to shine. He died till the moon dripped away in blood. He died till the earth began to reel and rock like a drunk man. I'm dedicated, willing to serve him. They laid him in a fiery tomb. But I here's my reason. I'm dedicated and devoted to serve him. Early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. He got up saying, oh, power. all right he's all right i got to go to my seat god bless your heart but i wish i had somebody that'll reach out grab a neighbor take them by the hand look them dead in the face with a smile on your face and tell them neighbor i don't know about you but when i look back over my life and see where he brought me from. I got a made up mind. I'm going all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. I'm devoted because I've come to discover if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side thank you Ruth thank you Ruth for reminding us no matter what it looks like we got to be so dedicated we got to be so devoted that we say much like Ruth where he leads me I will follow I'll go with him all the way that's the only way you're going to make the, the race you got to go all the way the word of God teaches us the race is not given to the swift, nor is it given to the strong, but y'all, it's given to the one that will just hold on and endure to the very end. That's what we need in 2016. 
That's what we need. We need dedication. We need devotion. We need dedicated saints. We need devoted saints. We need people who are going to say what they mean. And mean what they say. That's what we need. And my question today. Is there anybody in here. Who just like Ruth. Is so dedicated to the cause of God. That you'll basically say. Like the old song says. I'll go. If I have to go. By myself. I'll go if I have to go by myself. If my mother, my father, my sister, or my brother, I'll go if I have to go by myself. I'll sing if I have to sing by myself. Can anybody else say that in here? I'll sing if I have to sing by myself. Oh, if my mother, my father, my sister, Oh my brother, I'll go if I have to go by myself. Doors of the church are open. Said I'll pray if I have to pray by myself. I made up my mind, y'all. I made up my mind. I'll pray if I have to pray. By myself. Pray by myself. Oh, if my mother don't pray, my father don't pray. I got three sisters and even two brothers. But I'll pray on, oh, yes I will. If I have to pray by myself. Oh, send me. In here, send me, send me go. Sometimes I get burdened, send me go. Sometimes I get lonely, send me go. But if he needs somebody, send me go. Here I am, send me, send me go. Nights they get dark sometimes. My friends, sometimes they get few. But I made up my mind, Lord. Me, go. If you send me, I'll go. Me, go. Oh, to send me. And why said I'll go if I have to go by myself? Said I'll go if I have to go by myself. Oh, if my mother don't go, my father don't go, my sister don't go. Oh, my brother, I'll go if I have to go by myself. Oh, send me, send me out. You just send me, send me out. Lord, if you send me, send me out. I'll go every step of the way, Lord. 
Sometimes I get burning. Tips me up. Sometimes I get lonely. Tips me up. But Lord, if you send me. Said I go if I have to go by myself. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Well, beloved, once again, we are certainly out of time, but we are not out of message. As we come to the close of this another Great Awakenings Television broadcast, it is our sincere prayer that you have been blessed, you've been encouraged, and you have been empowered by the word and the music that you have heard here today. I want to take this moment to personally invite you to come and join us here at the Great Awakenings Experience at the St. James Missionary Baptist Church. St. James Church is located 527 East Thomas Street, just off of Raleigh Boulevard in the city of Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. We invite you to join us for a morning prayer each Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. Sunday school begins at 9.45 a.m. And our Sunday morning worship experience begins promptly at 11 o'clock a.m. We invite you to join us for Bible study on Tuesday evenings at 6.30 p.m. And our midday Bible study and prayer time on Thursday mornings at 11.30 a.m. If you'd like to join us for Tuesday night Bible study but unable to join us here at the church, we're so happy to let you know that through the mediums of social media, our Bible study is aired live every Tuesday evening via telephone conference call and through the social app Periscope. All you'll have to do is use the information as you see it listed on the screen and you will be tuned in to join us live in Bible study each Tuesday night. If you desire transportation to our Sunday morning worship service, all you have to do is call our transportation department at 252-442-2318 and someone will make contact with you and arrange for you to be picked up, brought to church, and carried back home safely each Sunday morning. If today's broadcast has been a blessing to you, I am so privileged to let you know that it is available on audio CD as well as video DVD by contacting our media outreach ministry as you see the information on the screen. When calling, please be sure to request the service number as you see it listed as our representatives will be found ready and available to assist you in making sure you receive the copy of that today's service. As we come to the end of today's broadcast, as always, it is my prayer that your life has been enriched by this last 30 minute broadcast. As always, I say good morning to the staff and the residents of the Hunter Hill Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, as well as all of those who are in hospitals, nursing homes, convalescent homes, and maybe even their personal sick homes this morning. Our prayers are always with you, that God will forever keep you in a perfect peace as you keep your mind stayed on Him. Until next Saturday morning, when we return with another Great Awakenings broadcast, I'm Pastor J.T. Worthy simply saying, may the blessings of the Lord be with you now and always. God bless.